Hey guys, what's going on? Crestline Boy here, back today with another Minecraft video. I hope you guys are excited. I mean, two videos. I mean, I don't know what you guys expected. Um, probably not this though. Um, first, I want to say sorry about like what uh, any like lag, or whatever that is um, in this recording, any FPS lag, because uh, I am running uh, Pixelmon. Which, I don't know if it's the first time I've done Pixelmon mod on this channel, but if it has, then you guys would probably be familiar. Um, yeah, I'm using a laptop, so it doesn't run it that well. Although, I mean, on my screen, it looks okay. I don't know how it will end up when uh, the video is rendered and everything. Um, but yeah, so just get into it. If you couldn't tell by the title already, I'm going to teach you guys how to break this game. And I don't mean, like, break, like, crash it or whatever. I mean, like... Make it the most OP, ridiculous thing you like. It's, it's I'm gonna expose it for being too. OP. It's like too OP. So, I got this idea when I was playing on a server with my friends, and I did a bunch of these things, and they're like, "Yo, okay, that's not fair. Where nobody can do this anymore." So I just got a bunch of features banned on the server with my friends because I did them. Um, so I'm using Pixelmon Reforged mod, um, and this is the latest version. As of right now, uh, to start, so basically, um, there's this menu. Um, so basically, you can search for Pokemon. So there's a snubble right there. So if I, okay, my S key isn't working. So we need to find a Pokemon that doesn't have an S in its name. Um, let's do Magikarp. Uh, let's see, pull that up. So literally, you search up Magikarp. Boom. And boom, it shows you magic magic cup right there. You can use that for Eevees. Oh, there's a lot of magic cup. And then when you don't, you just clear selected. And yep, it's not selected anymore, so you're good. Uh, I typically don't play with that because like it's kind of cheaty. Uh, another thing I don't play with, um, it shows you where all the all Poco loot is, which some of it isn't that great anyway. But uh, I just turn that off. I turn off shinies. Um. But everything else I keep, it doesn't actually show you where bosses are, and um, you'll be able to see that in a, when I show you one of the breaky features. Um, it does show legendaries, which is helpful, because uh, most of the time, when I search around for the legendary, I'm going to find it anyway, so I'd rather just find it. Um, shrines, I mean, you'll be able to see them anyway, so it's, it's like within, like I think, 150 blocks, then it this stuff activates. Um, but after that, it doesn't. Okay, next feature, this map. I, d I like to use that. It's pretty helpful. Um, especially when you go down. Let's see, is the map going to change automatically? Yep, see, it changes, and it shows you caves. Like, if you zoom in there, boom, it shows, like, caves and stuff. Which I, I sometimes use to find caves. I mean, there's like so much ore, and like in a regular Pokemon game, you won't have, you don't need to do all this mining. So it's nice to just be able to find stuff legit. And next feature, we have our the the sapphire ore. There's so like right sapphire crystal. Uh, there's also ruby and amethyst. Now these may not seem like much, but these are gonna be your friends because. Tool-wise, you can make them into tools, and they're the same as iron. I think they might be a bit weaker, but like iron, you can use them to mine diamonds. And basically, you don't have to waste your time smelting this iron, and you can use that iron to make like Pokeball bases and stuff. So these guys will be your friend. Um, and so yeah, that's it. That's that. Let me look at my list. I, am, I made a list of like a bunch of stuff we can do. Um, let's see. Um, here, we'll do travel next. Okay, so basically, another, like, broken thing about this is you can trap, I mean, obviously you can travel Minecraft, but the thing is, there's generate, there's, uh, structures that generate around, including Poke Centers, and you're probably thinking, mm, Poke Centers, they're not that great. Um, like, it just has a healer. Um, that's really wrong. Uh, so real quickly, I'm, I'm just gonna use a Minecraft feature, Locate Village. Because all villagers have a Poke Center and a Pokemart. So, let's see. 760. 
Oh, it's pretty. I'm just gonna TP there because yeah, 760, uh, 90, and yeah. So you teleport here. We wait for it to load, and a lot of um, villages will have a gym too, which is pretty nice. Oh, I also forgot to mention one of the strategies you you'll want your starter Pokemon to be Charmander, and you'll figure out why that is in a second. Um, so yeah, so gyms really only spawn in villages. Um, there might be a few cases where that's not true, but I haven't seen that yet. And yeah, all villages spawn at Pokemart and a Poke Center. Now, a Poke Center has a healer, but if you didn't know, and it's, there's different types of Poke Centers, and this is the type you want, it has items. Oh, so let's, let's just take this item, these items, and see why they're so important. So they're healing items. You can use them to get heal up. I mean, usually I just use Poke Heal. Another feature of villages, uh, that chest isn't a great example. Um, but you take these items, and you go over here, to the Pokemart, and let's see, you can sell them, uh, these prices aren't that great, but you scroll down, boom, F that's just 5,000 right there, and, oh, wait, uh, yeah, so literally, you just got three Ultra Bowls for free, actually, let's sell every, uh, let's sell everything we have, and see what we get for it, uh, boom, boom, oh, it's actually a pretty decent amount of money, actually, uh, now buy, boom, boom, you just got nine Ultra Balls for free, doing nothing. Like, you don't even have to grow apricorns, boom, you got Ultra Balls. Um, okay, let's see, what do we want to do next? So, I'm going to TP, slash TP to zero, because I want to find a different village so I can show you, like, a good example of what they, the chests can offer. Um... Well, that's one we were at before. Here, let's go to 1,000, maybe 1,000, and then we'll create a village. Uh, okay, 1064, 856. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> 64, 90, 856. This might seem a little boring right now, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Okay. Yep, and then there's another gym. This is a rock, the rock gym. Uh, there's a blacksmith here. Let's see. Loot. Okay, diamond hammer. Zap plate. Okay, those are pretty nice. Uh, let's see. And then a Poke Center. Oh, that's not a Poke Center. That's a Poke Mart. But all villagers have a Poke Center in Poke Mart. So, let's see. Um, I mean, yeah, those probably sell for a bit. Okay. So that's it for like loot wise. Um, oh, the next thing that's pretty OP. Speaking of gyms, oh, and there's randomly structuring spawning Pokemon centers. So, slash. Uh, okay, so yeah, my like I told you guys the um, S key uh, on my thing doesn't work. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I just Control C and then yeah, there we go. So that structure. Um, we want no, it's electric gym. That's struck. Um, oh my God, electric gym. Okay, unable to fit. What? For some reason, like it only goes over. It only work over water, kind of. Uh, or not. Come on. I find an ocean. This is not going well. Oh, here we go. Will it fit here? No, it won't. There we go. Okay. So, this is only good for the, the, the electric gym is the only one that has this. But it's really helpful if you can find one. Um, so you might think, oh, just a normal gym. What, what's so special about it? Well, you come in here, you come to the leader. You can probably already see it. It has two beacons. Two beacons, like that's that's free beacons. And the only other way to get um, beacons is from ghost towers, but that's uh, nether stars. You get nether stars from ghost towers. But yeah, you get two free beacons from an electric gym. Uh, I don't know what biome it spawns in. That's the only problem. Okay, next up, let's see. Um, 
All right, we'll go to a ghost tower. Uh, so we're gonna go find a swamp. Bunny, uh, TP biome, uh, Minecraft swampland. We're just gonna TP to a swamp. This you can find any biome, like a mesa, whatever. This and uh, ghost tower. So ghost towers spawn in swamps. Usually there's one in every swamp. I got lucky on my world, and there were actually two right next to each other, which is pretty nice because you can just switch between them, and there we go. So basically, each one has a poke at top, not usually not very good. What I like to do is I like to just kind of clear all this out, and yeah. And so basically, the top one. It spawn, it's a guaranteed boss spawn, and it's one of four Pokemon. A Gengar, Haunter, um, Miss Magius, and Chandelure. So, and it spawn, it'll spawn one at a time, based on the config. Um, yeah, I usually do like a 5x5 five five platform, but I'm just doing this, just so you guys can get a gauge of, and there we go, there's spawn. It spawns from uh, Uncommon all the way to Legendary. Um, and, uh, so for this strat, uh, so I just poke it, I want to poke a give, press on boy, uh, so the best Pokemon to use, honestly, for j this is, uh, Crocodile, uh, how do I do level 100? No. I don't know. Um, so I'll be right back. Uh, after I get these guys up. Okay, we're back. Um, so, I have leveled up the Crocodiles to level 100, which actually isn't as hard as it seems uh, with um, with the Ghost Tower. Uh, okay, and I'll tell you why these guys are so good, because, let's see, Henry, they're ground and dark, uh, and it's I don't know, I'm not exactly a professional on like typing and stuff, but it is, uh, ghost type moves and dark type moves are not good against Crocodile, which is the, like the majority of moves used by these Pokemon. Um, and, but, and he naturally learns Earthquake and Crunch, both of which are good against ghost type, I believe. Um, and let, let's, so this is boss. Um, it's level 105, literally, Earthquake, okay, confused me, boom, Earthquake, it did so much damage, uh, let's see if we can get the second one off, and boom, only took me four tries, uh, whatever, wait, so what thing you want from this? Gas Tears, that's a really effective thing for a team table, only took, oh, defeat your first Pokemon, okay. Um, let's see, we're just gonna put that there, and, um, so, and, so basically, this is my setup that I have at my ghost tower, I have a PC for Pokemon, chests for the loot, and an ender chest with shulker boxes, which we'll get into later, um, but they're really helpful for carrying, like, all these items, like, these two dub chests can just fit in four shulker boxes, which is pretty nice. So I'll be right back after I fought a bunch of the uh, boss Pokemon. Actually, here I'll fight this one on camera. Just to show you how effective it is. So earthquake, yeah, lick, not very effective. Earthquake, boom. Literally, I can two shot these boys and even crunch. Let's see, De oh, destiny bind. That's a bit of a problem. But if you have a Poke Healer or look, Gengarite, Gastier's Ranch upgrade, rare candy. Like, oh, uh, I just choose that. So yeah, um. I usually just poke a heal, but you can also put a healer here just for easy healing. Uh, this guy we don't. I just did uh, give him the right move set. Um, and basically, so all four of these moves he learns naturally. Outrage isn't gonna do much, but it's just nice to have because it's 120 power, um, and it's 100% accuracy. So we'll be right back after we've uh, killed a bunch of the bosses, and I'll show you what we get. Okay, we're back. Now, uh, so I just uh, fought a few boss Pokemon, and this is the loot I got. Now, I bet you're wondering, how many how many uh, bosses did you have to kill to get this loot? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100? 
No, it's ten. I mean, in in the ten boss I kill, six rare candies, a lucky egg, dust stone. You can get master balls. You can get all types of stuff. But what we're gonna need for later in the video are gas tears and ender pearls. Um, and I just want to uh, go over some strategies with you guys. So, um. So Gengar and Sableye, you don't want to use status moves against for boss towers, because typically they'll have the ability bounce back, which basically means whatever status they would have gotten, you get on yourself. So you can hypnosis yourself, poison powder, whatever. Um, Sableye, um, he's not that great. Like literally any move will do like the same amount of damage in uh, Crocodile's move set. Gengar, Earthquake and Crunch are gonna be your best bet. Um, Miss Magius, you want to use. Uh, dark type moves because it's uh, immune. It has a levitate, so it's immune to earthquake. And then Chandelure, uh, same with Gengar, earthquake or crunch. Any dark type move will work. Um, so let's see. So yeah, so you can get like a you can basically I think get every item in the almost every item in the game, including plates. And you need 17 plates and an arc chalice to get Arceus. Um. Alright, next, okay, this next thing is pretty cool, um, here, so I'm just getting mobile, keep inventory true, unfortunately for, like, servers, keep inventory doesn't work in dimensions other than, um, the overworld, but on single player, it does work, um, but yeah, we're gonna kill and hopefully it's there, um, no, Oh yeah, waypoints are also pretty nice. You can just set waypoints, and then you have like a master thing. Um, I'll bring it back, and once I find the thing I'm looking for, I'll I'll start up again. Okay, we're back, and thankfully we didn't have to wait long, maybe like two minutes. But the next thing I want to talk about is the ultra wormhole, which they randomly spawn around the world. Um, and yeah, so. I'm going to teach you guys how to get an Elytra before you even go to the end. Let's go! So you basically just go in there. You have to wait for it to load a bit. And, okay. This is, I didn't even plan this. This is the perfect spawn. So literally, um, I don't know if they're strongholds, but... Holy, wait. Okay. Um, this is a perfect example of what I was going to talk about. So basically, first thing... Uh, nether fortresses spawn in here. Oh, I should probably also. T uh, oh, I was trying to do some stuff with that. Uh, game mode zero. I should probably also mention that you have jump boost and slow falling in here. So if you're uh, in survival, oh baby, it's pretty nice. Um, yeah. So first thing is nether fortresses. First chest four diamonds. Um, let's see, let's explore, and yeah, there's a gym right here, which I've never encountered one before in, uh, Ultra Space, but, okay, uh, let's see, um, in here, yes, okay, here's another chest, gold, but yeah, so you have those chests, um, let's see, I uh, yeah, villagers can spawn, um, no blacksmith in this one. And also you can look on the map. Let's see. Okay, so now next we have to find the one. Oh. Altars also spawned in here. So here's a time space altar to get your Palkia, Dialga, Giratina, Arceus. Um, <laughs> this is literally. I've never had such a perfect spawn. Also, you, you know, you got the Thunderstone ores right on the surface. You have your weird, like things, those don't do anything to my knowledge. Ooh, okay. There's gonna be a bit of lag right now. I'm gonna try to limit that. Um, yeah, so let's kind of explore. Oh, and also, weird feature of this. Um, so as you can see, the jump boost, didn't, like, it wasn't that, like, high, and the slow falling wasn't that great. But when you're jumping over long distances, it becomes so much greater. So you can literally just cross. You can fly. I believe I can fly. 
I believe I can touch the sky. No. And boom. So now we're all the way over here. You take minimal fall. You just take some fall damage, but it's minimal. Uh, so we're gonna keep going and look at. I'm gonna. I need to look for the next thing I wanted to show you guys in the ultra dimension. Yeah, it's it's very weird. It's like almost like Badlands. Not bad, uh, but it's like the same craziness that Badlands provides. Um. Okay, come on. Oh, here we go. Next thing, these ore platforms that just randomly spawn. So if you want some free diamonds, let's see. This one has emerald. It doesn't have diamonds on that one. So, um, but yeah, those spawn, and we'll give you free diamonds. Um. So now we also there's a beast loot balls, which is just poco loot. Oh, I can actually search for that. Boom. Yep, beast chest. I. Uh, I'm not sure what tier it is. It's tier one or tier two, maybe. Uh, but yeah, this is what they look like. Uh, let me just turn that off and uh, fairy MC. Okay. Um. Let's see what. Okay. So there's one more thing. Ah, uh, here we go. End cities. Literally, end cities. Um. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's grab the diamond sword, and. Like, okay, so, also want to show you guys, I'm in peaceful right now, but you can still get shulkers. And sh that's how I get shulker boxes. So basically, um, yeah, sometimes, even if they're closed, you can still attack them. Uh, some you can, some you can't. Uh, okay, that don't work. Uh, you do more damage when they're open, obviously. Yeah, like that. Okay, that one just teleported. And also, typically when you hit them, they'll stay, they'll sometimes stay open. And boom, there's a shulker shot. So that's how you get those. Um, and yeah, so let's see. Uh, this isn't a great end city. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here, there's chests here. Although sometimes they're broken. And yeah, they have, but let's see. This is a great way to get like tools and stuff for mining. I'm breaking three, that's all right. Uh, let's see, over here. Okay, this one isn't broken. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> one, two, three, six diamonds in one chest. Like, that's how OP this is. And then, of course, um, that's over here. This is how you get the elytra before you go to the end. Um, so, yeah, basically, just go down here. You have your elytra, and you have two chests here. Uh, Okay, there's a uh, self catch uh, and two more diamonds, so that's pretty OP if I do say so myself. But yeah, so that's basically how you get the elytra before you go to the end. Okay, so next up, all right, uh, next up we're going to you is um, what I want to talk about for these. So basically, uh, we're gonna kill uh, Ender pearls. You need those to find uh, end portal. You need those to find an end portal and go to the end. Um, so yeah, the ghost towers just an easy way to get the end portals. And then literally, you go to a dead uh, slash biome uh, biome t uh, tp biome uh, Minecraft desert. So literally, you go to a desert, and let's see how many Pokemon. Uh, Typically, you want to kill fire Pokemon. Let's see how long it takes to find a Pokemon that'll drop what I need. Um, let's see. We'll set it today. Time set day. Um, oh, here we go. This should give me what I need. So, Hondor took me like a minute to find, if that. Boom. All right. Um. Blaze powder. That's all you need. You just craft it up. Yep, and you got yourself. And I have Ender, so we're really we're gonna, uh, Yeah, we'll get the stronghold. Two S T P. Three twelve thirty. I have sixteen seventy two. Hopefully we'll T P right inside. Nope. So we're gonna have to do some slash game three. Um. Here we go. Oh. On my world, I don't know why, I, there were like two or three libraries, 
and they all they didn't have an upstairs but washing machine shock drive okay let's see these chests um i mean they're not great i mean you can also find diamonds and stuff in here but what we want is the portal which i think isn't it it's like the usually the lowest room i think or let's see can we find the portal that is the question I mean, obviously you have to spend some time exploring this place looking for the portal um, yeah if we go where the heck is it this is a little embarrassing that I can't find a simple portal actually yeah where is the portal Oh, here it is. Oh, it's all the way. Dang, this is a big stronghold. Okay. Yeah, so here we have the portal. We craft up our eyes of Ender, which we easily got. And put these in. And we go to the end. Okay, we're in the end. Um. Is that a boss or a shiny? That's a boss, okay. Um, oh, another really OP thing. These guys over here, they, they're like a bunch of them usually spawn. Oh my god, whoa. Uh, let's see, just kill them real quick. And you drop sh shiny stone shards. Like, you just want shiny stones to evolve some certain Pokemon? You're good. Okay, next up uh, is what you're going to need the Charmander for. Uh, we'll do trade sim 1. Oh wait, I, I don't know why I did trade some. Um, that's I mean that's in single player if you want to like get a Gengar or whatever. Pokey Evolve One. Okay, that I am. Give Crestman Boy. Uh, oh my God, I'm like all over the place today. Poka Give Crestman Boy. Char Charles. Boom. So basically, we do three char <laughs> the world's tiniest Charizard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so basically, yeah, you just go up. Inner Dragon can't hurt you. Fly up. And boom, boom. Um. So I'll be right back after I beat the Ender Dragon. Okay, so now to finish it off. Uh, I just gave me myself some strength, so it'll be extra, some extra damage. You want to do? You want to just build up here? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, this dragon doesn't like to be cut. Boop, 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 boop. We just have to wait for him. Um. Okay. So I'm level five right now. Probably got that. From, I don't know where I got that. From. I don't know why it's doing that, because like it's going like out of the chunk or something. I don't know. It shouldn't be doing that, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but we're not going to worry about it. Um, bro, like, I could just be a lag. What? Okay, this dragon is weird. Okay, but yeah, so we kill the dragon, and, you know, it's pretty normal. Wait, it drops XP. Let's see how much XP it gives us. Uh, Alright. Boom, 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 boom. Literally, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Boom. Oh my. This is like more than I got in my world. Okay, level 66 from that. You may be thinking, okay, you get XP. So what? How, how is that OP? How is that going to break the game? Um, well, remember those, uh, gas tiers we got earlier? Well, I mean, you guys probably know this, but you can craft end crystals in the game. With an ender eye, which we got, guess, see, the, uh, from the ghost tower, and then glass, uh, end crystal, you guys probably, I mean, some of you guys probably already knew this, but for those of you who don't, basically, um, Place four end crystals, 
like so. And oh, what? What was that? What's it doing? Ah. Uh, and so basically, yeah, it goes through this like uh, process of restoring all of the these and those in crystals. And just wait. Do 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 do. Boom. Um, da, 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 da. And the end again. And the Ender Dragons respond. So that's an achievement in Minecraft. Um, I mean, respawn the Ender Dragon. So if you didn't know that, you do now. Um, so yeah. So basically, infinite XP free. You just gotta spend some time. Um, but yeah. So what I'm gonna show you next. Let's see. So infinite. Oh, okay. So this is the last thing I have to show you guys on how to break the game. Um, so you go here. So let's. So let's say you're here. You have your elytra, and but you don't have any rockets. That's the only problem. And this is where the Charizard comes in handy. Basically, yeah. So, oh. Um. Hmm. Hope to give Chris on boy Charizard. Hopefully, this is bigger. The bigger, the better. Honestly. Um. Yeah, he'll do. <laughs> so basically. You just fly up. Um, it works best in F5 mode. And typically I go up to a while of like 200. Because you can still see pretty far down. And basically all you do is just boom and fly. That's all there is to it. Now, the next step, step of this that I need to show you. Uh, it's a little more advanced. It takes some practice. I probably won't even get it first try. Um, but let's just keep going. Okay, so you're going, you're going. And this isn't like OP, it's just kind of like, oh, well we already found an end city, so that's really nice. Um, it's not that OP, but like, let's say you're flying. It's a pretty advanced move. So you're flying low to the ground, you throw down your Charizard. Yeah. Why are their bosses playing? Okay. Uh, obviously, I didn't execute that as it was supposed to be, but let's try that again. Okay, so you're flying low. Throw out your Charizard. It, like I said, the bigger the better. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. I've been training for this my entire life. Not really, but you know. Okay, so you're gliding down. You're getting low. I need a. I need to get back up there. So you throw down your Charizard. I didn't think about it falling. Boom! Now that's a smooth transition. Like, you don't even need to waste any time. And, and we already found another end city. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to it. That's how you break Pixel. Um, that's all there is to it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you're looking forward, if you're looking to do this yourself and you don't have Pixelmon, literally all you do, download the Technic Launcher off online. Just look up Technic Launcher, download it for whatever, like Mac or uh, Windows, um, and then search up Pixelmon Reforged after you download, and here you go. That's going to be it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. If not, don't. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Um, and I'll see you guys later.